John, thank you. Visitation is today for fallen officer Dominic Francis. People gathering at Corey Rawson High School to pay their respects. Our Chase Bachman is live in downtown Bluffton with the details. And Chase, what are officials telling you as they prepare? Jeff, officials asked us to respect the privacy of the visitation, so that is why we are here in downtown Bluffton. Now, Bluffton University, they are hosting the funeral tomorrow. We actually spoke with a university official less than an hour ago, Robin Bolas, and she says that it is an honor for them to host the funeral. They said it is the least they can do for the Bluffton Police Department and for the Francis family. To do this, the Bluffton Police Department is very involved in our campus events. We have a criminal justice program, and our students have often uh, done ride alongs with Officer Francis, and so many of our students have connections to him, and of course, the entire Bluffton Police Department. So we're just really honored to be able to help and serve our police department in this way and the Francis family. Now, Bolas expects thousands of people to be here tomorrow. She said we can expect as many as 5,000 law enforcement officers tomorrow to pay their respects. Reporting in downtown Bluffton, Chase Bachman for WTOL 11. And if you plan on attending the officer's funeral, here is a look at the processional route. Those wanting to attend are asked to line the route to pay their respects. It goes from the university to Corey Rawson School, where it will make a loop and then head to the cemetery. If you don't plan to attend, you can join us here on WTOL 11 tomorrow morning, starting at 1050 as we broadcast the service live on air.